So, good day. We will now solve the resultant Cartesian vector from given position vectors. So, as an example, let's answer this problem. If FB is 700 Newton and FC is 760 Newton, determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force acting on the flagpole. So, let's draw the problem. Okay, so let's find the resultant vector of these two forces. So I have here force all along uh, from A to B. So that is force B. The magnitude of this is 700 Newton. And I have here force C from A to C. And the magnitude of that is 560 Newton. Okay. So, we will find the resultant angle, the magnitude, and the coordinate direction angles of the resultant force acting on the flagpole. Okay? So, the first thing we have to do is to find the position. So, here, definitely, this is 0 on x, 0 on y, and the height of this is 6 meters. That is position of A. For position of B, this is this is x, so that is 2 meters away from the origin of x. Then that is negative 3 away from the origin, going to negative y, so that is negative 3. And that is on the origin of, there is no distance on z, so that is 0 on z. For c, so, it's lying on positive x and positive y. So, that is the distance of this point from x. So, that is origin going here. So, that is 3 meters. And the distance of this point from origin to going here. So, that is 2 meters. And it has on the 0 of z. So, these are the position. Okay. So, let's have... Position vectors first. So the position vectors of, let's call this as your R, B, okay? So that is also, and this one lying here, this is R, C. So for R, B, that is R, so that is RB is equal to RBX I hat plus RBY J hat plus RBZ K hat. Okay, so again, so we will subtract the position. So it will be 2 minus 0, so that is 2 I hat. Negative 3 minus 0, so that is negative 3 j hat 0 minus 6 so that is negative 6 k hat and this is meters okay so that is your rb and the magnitude of your rb so that is rb so the magnitude of rb is just square root of okay the magnitude of rb is 2 square plus negative 3 squared plus negative 6 squared the magnitude of that the magnitude of rb now is 7 meters hence the unit vector of rb the unit vector of b is equal to rbx 
over RB I hat plus RBY over RB J hat plus RBZ over RB K hat and that will be just equal to 2 meters over 7 meters I hat plus negative 3 over 7 so I will just cancel J hat plus negative 6 over 7 K hat so the unit vector of B now is 2 over 7 so that is 0 0.29 I hat negative 3 divided by 7 is negative 0 0.43 J hat negative 6 divided by 7 is negative 0 0.86 K hat okay so this is your UB therefore your FB your force vector FB is just whatever the magnitude of B times the unit vector of B so it will just be 700 Newton times 0 0.29 I hat minus 0 0.43 J hat minus 0 0.86 K hat so, our force vector V now is 203 I hat, negative 301 J hat, is negative 602 K hat. And the unit of this is Newton. Okay? So, we are done with our RAB. Let's go now for C. For RC, so that is just parallel to our 4C so that is RCX I hat plus RCY J hat plus RCZ K hat and that will be this is final position so 3 minus 0 that is 3 I hat 2 minus 0 so that is plus 2 J hat then 0 minus 6 so that is negative 6 k hat and this is meters and the magnitude of that so that is the magnitude of rc is just equal to rcx squared plus rcy squared plus rcz squared let's substitute so that is square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 6 squared the answer of RC its magnitude is also 7 meters and hence the unit vector C is equal to RCX over RC I hat plus RCY over RC K hat plus R C Z over R C K hat so that will be 3 over 7 I hat plus 2 over 7 K hat minus 6 over 7 K hat so the unit vector for C 0 0.42 Oh, 43 rather I had because 428 plus 0 0.29 this is J rather J hat minus negative 0 0.86 K hat and that is now your unit vector and we will use that unit vector to find our FC so now so our FC, our force vector C is just what is the magnitude of C times the unit vector of C. So that is 
the magnitude is 560 newton times 0.43 i hat plus 0.29 j hat minus 0.86 k hat and that will be 140.8 i hat plus 162.4 J hat minus 481.6 and that is K hat. And this, the unit of this is Newton. FR. Okay, so the resultant. For the resultant, we will just all add all the X. So that is FBX plus FCX I hat plus f b y plus f c f c y j hat f c y j hat plus f b z plus f c z k hat so let's have here our force vector now r so that is 203 plus 240.8 i hat plus negative 301 plus 162.4 j hat plus negative 602 plus negative 481.6 k hat and that unit of that is newton so to simplify fr now is 443.8 i hat negative 138.6 j hat and that is um, negative 1083.6 k hat and that is newton so if we will draw here the resultant vector it means it is 443 so that is positive x negative y negative y so it means here and that is negative z so directly on this position okay in this octant so let's draw it here so definitely it it is in this position okay so that is your r maybe it's bigger okay so that is your r okay so now let's find the direction angles of our r now let's find direction angles so direction angles of R and also its unit vector so let's find the direction angles first so for the direction angles so since we know this is FRX so this is FRX this is FRY RY and this is also the F R Z. So we can have the direction angles from also the unit vector. So we can also have we can also find the unit vectors now. So we know that F R X is divided by F R. It's just I hat. This is also cosine I hat plus f r y over f r j hat plus f r z over f r k hat okay so again this is also cosine alpha i hat plus cosine beta j hat plus cosine gamma k 
Okay, yeah. We are not only solving for the direction angles, but we can also solve the unit vector. So, so we know now what are FRX, FRY, and FRZ. So, let's find first what is the magnitude. Okay. So, to find the magnitude, FR is equal to square root of FRX squared plus F r y squared plus f r z squared so that will be square root of four four three point eight squared that is newton squared so i will negative one thirty eight point six newton squared plus negative 1083.6 newton squared so the magnitude of fr is 1179.13 newton we now have the magnitude we can now solve for the unit vector so that will be so that will be unit vector is equal to 443 Point 0.8 divided by 1179.13 i hat minus 138.6 divided by 1179.13 j hat minus 1083.6 divided by 1179.13 k hat and for the unit vector, so that is 0 0.38 i hat. That is the second one is negative 138.6 divided by 1178.13. So that is negative 0 0.12. Then negative 0 0.92 k hat so this is now your cosine cosine alpha this is now your okay that is negative cosine beta and this is also your cosine gamma so that is 0 0.38 so alpha is equal to our cosine 0 0.38 and alpha is okay 67.67 degrees for cosine beta it is negative 0 0.12 so beta is our cosine see negative 0 0.12 so that is 96.89 degrees and lastly cosine gamma is negative 0 0.92 so gamma is our cosine negative 0 0.92 and the answer is 156.93 degrees so this is the answer these are the direction angle, the unit vector, and the resultant vector. So, I hope this is clear.